This month marked the end of an era in central Sydney with the closure of local pub and live music venue the Lansdowne Hotel, which first opened back in 1933. The nostalgic event was marked by a final gig held in the week prior to the closure. We basically, we put this event on to get everyone who has ever come to Lansdowne at one point and had an experience uh, with live music. Um, whether it be like your mates played or you walk past or you know you come every Wednesday or you've been drinking at the side of the bar for like three years and just saw noise happening it's just it's kind of like the last call it's to get everyone together and you know and send it off with a bang and just get music happening. Over the past 82 years the Lansdowne stage has hosted an impressive lineup of Aussie and international bands such as Mud Honey, The Living End and The Go-Betweens. Sydney musician Van Cooper has been performing at the Lansdowne for two years and is well aware of the role the pub has had in supporting up and coming local artists. Well, being from Sydney, you, like, you know, you just do it, you know, you just get up and go and you keep playing and playing until you have exhausted every other venue, then you go do it a bit more. So, like, the Lansdowne's always been a big thing for me, you know. Uh, ACDC played here, you know, like it's been ACDC played here, like the Aussie rock band, so you could always find a gig here, um, whether you were playing with, for your tape class here, or you were playing on your national tour, you know, you could get a gig here. Lucius Boric, son of industry icon Kevin Boric, has had several decades of experience in the live music scene and is best known for the bands Cog and Juice. His current band, Juice, performed at the Lansdowne's last gig. He says the Lansdowne has always been a constant for music groups in the local area. Those constants are actually gone now, such as like the Annandale or the Lansdowne that were, you know, really cemented in the music scene in Sydney anyway for bands to play. And it's a shame that it's, it's um, you know, that it's, it's gone. You know, it's, it's, yeah, another one, another one of those, you know, foundations of, of a, a place for bands to play is, is now uprooted. With live music on the decline and the loss of important venues such as the Lansdowne, it is getting harder for musicians to make it in the live arena. Lucius believes that the arrival of the internet and the corporate festival scene are partly to blame. It's, it's, uh, there's a whole devaluing of, of, of things going on whether it be the selling of music online, you know, there's a devaluing of the, of the creative being. And I find that um, that is really scary. It is perhaps a small comfort that the historic venue has been bought by the Academy of Music and Performing Arts and will be converted into a school for musicians. Ultimately, however, the closure highlights that today's generation enjoy music in a different way to those previously while the fate of live music venues remains dependent on the support of young people. You can say you can support the industry, but unless you're going to the events and you're going to the places that they're held and you do it a lot, you're not really actually supporting it. Downloading things, sitting in your room listening to music, going to the occasional gig is what you need to do. So while musicians will always be finding new ways to share their music, the closure of the Lansdowne means the loss of another welcoming venue for a struggling young artist. After 82 years, this popular live music hub is calling for last drinks. Sophie Trigger, Reportage Online.